all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And with the goddamn hair, you leave. So we are about to do, um, we're about to get my the guy's opinion on how he feels about Chris allegedly, well, not alleged, <laughs> Chris uh, exposing Clarence's alleged situation or whatever. Y'all know Mod and Clarence ain't necessarily talking right now. Um, but, you know, like a real nigga. He, he answered like a real nigga. And I, I, re, I definitely respect him for that. Um, I did watch it. The portion of this video, you know, both of these two men are growing. And, you know, I admire it because, um, you know, I've been 25 before. I know what that shit feel like. 25, 26, 27, 28. Uh, however old Tyler Guy is. But I've been their age. And, you know, you go through a lot of hell in your 20s. Um, and they was talking about that. But I feel like... They are finally getting up out of that hell. And um, especially my God, uh, Ty, you know, he just had a child. They are just total different dudes. You know what I'm saying? I admire that. But I am making my videos shorter. We getting straight to the topic and we getting up out of there. Um, So that's what we will be doing today with this video. So I want to I want to talk about this question. Let's get it. Put some gas on that bit, man. Nigga, I've been mad ready. <laughs> How do you feel about the whole Chris situation and things he's been saying on the internet? Uh, he's been saying some wild outlandish shit, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you, bro. Like, I've been watching from my perspective, bro. And I'm like, bro, are you fucking serious, bro? Uh, I feel, um, shit, gotta, I got to be, I got I to gotta answer this correctly, smartly. I mean, whatever the, mm -hmm. the deli on his hand. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like. The act of outing uh, another man or trying to ruin another man's family uh, hey, when you lost yours kind of the same way is corny. Um, I don't really, I'm, uh, I'm not speaking on whatever, whatever is alleged, but um, yeah, just that. And I feel like uh, I've, I've seen a lot of people saying like, uh, I guess it's kind of the same situation in terms of like not the same I guess situation. The perspective of it, and I just feel as though like it's a reach to try to attempt to put somebody in a in a messed up position that you're in. He and let me let him cook, but their situations are not the same, and people are still trying to figure out why is it. Why aren't they being treated the same? Because it ain't the same. <laughs> okay, like at all. It's two totally different situations. But not only that, the person who got caught in trouble, whatever, for cheating on his wife and doing da da da, the nigga that did it trying to out the new one. That's just not how life works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And for it to actually be taken serious. So, you know, I just want y'all to know that's why nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> Like the shit went up for a few days. Now DDG and, and um well Dub and and, and Chris and, and Tio they just getting off some of the steam. They've been wanting to get off with whoever. But as far as Clarence and Chris go, girl, this shit about to be water under the bridge in like two days. Like real shit. It's been water under the bridge for them, but for everybody else, this shit we about to go into the next story. Thank it just being naturally outed like you get what i'm saying it's like you it's like being a tattletale like you like you heard a secret and you went and you tried to tell everybody like oh this my is what i saw it's just corny i just think you're trying to i don't know that's just corny i just wow. think the act is corny i don't the other stuff i'm not but just the act of telling on somebody is like wow that's like worse than d'angelo russell bro um that's funny <laughs> D'Angelo Russell did bad with Nick Young back in the day. Yeah, but this is 10 times worse. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's just crazy. That's he crazy. had some games when he surprised me. He had some games where he pissed me off. I wanted to shoot him. But, shooting um, him is crazy. Uh, fuck what the fuck was I finna say? Oh, 
Yeah, bro. My perspective on that shit, bro. I think that shit is petty and wrong as fuck, bro. This oh, nigga... I hate when niggas just be cussing for no reason. It truly, truly irks my YouTube TOS nerves. This nigga has been doing the fucking most. Like, I ain't never seen somebody go online and do that type of shit before like that, bro. Like, for the world to see, bro. Like, if you got fucking... No, he really... No, but it's like he... He's not. I don't think he's right for what he's doing at all. Uh, but I just feel like he, he's he been looking for his turn. Like, he, he's lost a lot of these uh, sparring battles in terms of, like, making videos, mm -hmm. like, yes, going has. back and forth. He's lost. So I feel like he just took this. It's petty, but he took this as a moment to try to, like... Absolutely took it as a moment to bounce back, and it bounced on his ass. Get a up one... And it's just, it just looks nasty though. It looks nasty. Like it's not, it, it doesn't compare. Anytime I feel like the camp came at Chris, it was more warranted or like he did something to insinuate us coming back at him. I don't feel like it was, I don't know. People will say it's unprovoked. So I'm not going to say that. We probably poked the, poked the bear. I don't know, bro. But it's just, it's just corny to, to tell on somebody, to try to tell on somebody and not even, there's no actual, I'm, I'm not defending them so let me just stay no, he don't know what the, no. he stay. don't know what to say about the situation he don't because somebody just said uh seem like ma don't know first of all we ain't even cool right now as in him and clarence i don't even know what is going on right now let's be very clear he don't know uh that's number one but number two y'all real nigga shit nobody wants to speak on this <laughs> like especially when you you know he i, I feel like that is an uneasy situation for him. Let me charge my watch. That's an uneasy situation because, like, you know, it, it, people grow. People grow apart. I think that's what him and Clarence did. So he probably don't know what to say, to be completely honest with you. I just feel like it's just corny to tell him. I'm speaking on Clarence's business. I and think that's crazy cool. as hell. No. Because, like, I keep telling y'all, loyalty will outweigh that fan shit. All right? So how about this? Loyalty will outweigh a nigga who love you. Somebody saying right now, man, I love the hell out of Neek. But, child, let me say one thing about their favorite YouTuber. Y'all don't love me no more. But, see, you have a certain amount of loyalty when you was once cool with a person. And that's why you don't come on the Internet disrespecting folk. If you don't never see me come on the Internet disrespecting folk and they ain't right here no more. It's because we have loyalty for one another to not disrespect each other like that. Period. You know, some things that y'all want to see people fall out and be like real nasty with each other, it'll never happen because the loyalty is still there. Period. No other man should speak on another man. Yeah, like you're not going to be that. able to hang out with niggas. Like, this, like, who you, you don't do? I don't know. Men don't tell on men. I don't know. And that might be some misogynistic uh, shit, but you don't do that. What is the most challenging experience you've ever been through? Um, I'm gonna I'm let I'm gonna let us answer this last question. Well, let him answer. I feel question. like social media. Mm -hmm. People sleep on social media and how challenging it actually is. I feel like social Let's media is the longest, uh, the hardest battle I've ever been through. Specifically because at times I may feel weak, or like I might not be my strongest, but I can't ever show that it, it, it gets. It gets portrayed as like falling off or like uh, everything is going wrong for you. So yeah, social media, social media is, is, is a challenging experience. Right? Like, <laughs> all other shits are just metal, mental. You gonna get over it or not? But social media, that shit forever. I can't really turn my phone off. I gotta post these shits. Right? Wow. So, social media uh, can be hard, but when you know when you get through the shit, like when you've been exposed and. Like I keep telling, I'm so glad it happened to me. I'm not reacting to Kiana Crystal's video. It's a copyright. Um, I'm glad that it happened to me uh, because, you know, uh, <laughs> hold on, y'all. I'm glad that it happened to me because you know certain shit need to happen for you to grow. You know, you gotta go glow. You gotta grow. You gotta go through shit to grow through shit. You know what I'm saying? So. 
I'm happy that it happened. I'm sure a lot of them, they will be in a couple years. They'll be happy because you'll know how to deal with that bullshit when it come around. And I'm glad that it happened to him so he know how to deal with the bullshit so he can get through it. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.